Hi! So today is um, Sunday the 13th of May. Today has been another great day. I just can't quite get over um, how much easier life is, I think, and like how much you can get done in a day. So got up, had a little dance when I got up, as you do. Uh, initially it was like, woke up and felt great, um, got up, had my breakfast, and then went back to bed because I was so tired. Um, then rolled round to when I was meant to be going running with Emma. And I was like, oh my gosh, should I postpone it a bit? And I was like, no. What is the best thing that I can do in any situation? Damn straight run. So I thought, get over myself, get up, get it done. So I got up and um, went for a run with Emma. We just did a steady, um, I think, three and a half miles um, because we're um, in our final, well, it was our final week run together before we do Liverpool next weekend. Um, it's the marathon. So initially when we signed up for this marathon, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go for a time. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Everything that's happened, I'm just really thankful that I've been able to manage to keep training and that Emma's been so super supportive as always. Um, so now I just, I'm going for a getting round and a finish and just enjoying every single step of it because my last marathon last year, all the aim was was to get round. Um, I was like a year, well, trying to get through my eating disorder while I was training and it was, I thought it was going to be the hardest challenge of my life and all that sort of things and I did it and I did thoroughly enjoy every single step, like I mean that, every single step. So um, yeah, same aim again, just get round and enjoy it because you know, all the hard work's done, I've done everything I can to try and train through everything else that's been going on in my life over the last sort of four or five months. And so just the fact that I haven't given up, I think I need to be proud of myself for that, rather than trying to put more expectations and pressure on myself. So yeah, that's where I'm going with that. Um, really looking forward to the whole event because it's um, meant to have music on the way round and meant to be quite a big event. Um, I'm not sure how many thousand runners, but I'm sure I'll tell you next week. Um, then after that, I went shopping. I got all the last bits for the rod, sort of, you know, because obviously I needed new bras and t-shirts and things like that because I couldn't just use the ones that I'd trained in obviously um, and they were on special offer so obviously I had to get two as well um, so it was quite an expensive trip but hopefully now I've got everything I need and I won't need to buy any more running things for quite a while um, also managed to get all my birthday presents for um, May so that feels really good because although like I thought I always used to feel like I wasn't organised and like I was stressed and everything was getting on top of me but like I'm starting to realise now that actually um, living with PMDD or any probably any chronic illness, well for me, um, it meant that I was constantly, um, like you have a lot less hours in the day and the, and the hours that you do have in the day you're like really tired or in pain or distressed or you know you're distracted by your illness um and then so I actually I think probably learned to be very organized like really organized but it always felt like I was running around like a hell of just chicken and in chaos so for example I never knew at what point you know I might need to go to my mum and dad's because um I'd been sort of tipped over the edge and so I always had to used to have to have my car packed as if I was you know potentially going to be at my mum and dad's for three days so I had to have my running things with me my swimming things with me my stuff for volunteering with me my chill out clothes with me my pajamas with me um so yeah it was always a bit of a mission and it always seemed like I had I never had everything that I needed with me unless the car was like looked like I was going on holiday for about a week which felt pretty ridiculous most of the time and like birthdays and things I was always just remembering like I would remember but then my head would be so full of chaos that I would forget until the day or I just wouldn't get around to it until the day so like actually having birthday cards written like a week in advance is like something pretty major for me um it feels so good because I think deep down in my heart like I was that organized person but um I just couldn't keep up with my own life basically um even though my life was so much less than it had been it was a horrible feeling so actually to be able to 
be back on top of things is like a really good place to be. Um, although I say being back on top of things, like having been ill for 16 years, although it was not diagnosed as PMDD for 16 years, it's only been diagnosed as that for the last two, like there's heck of a lot of things that I um, feel like I need to catch up on. Like you do your best, but there's some things that just like get shoved in a cupboard or just like paperwork and organising photos into proper folders and just little things, convenience things that you would like to have more organised, but they aren't. Um, and then after that, it's been like quite a busy day. So I came home, showered and everything. And then I went to Lauren's for a barbecue and I met her new boyfriend. And yeah, that was really, really lovely. Um, I had a really nice time. We got to play with the dogs and, you know, just like be myself. Like before I would have been like questioning myself and so um, self-aware, like too self-aware that I wouldn't have even let myself go to, like, you know, throw the ball and have fun with the dogs. I would have just been thinking, oh, my gosh, what will people think of me? Um, like, I'd have been over-analysing everything. Um, so now to be able to just sort of go and have fun and just be quite carefree, um, yeah, that's that's a good feeling. Um, it does mean that I am dreading. I mean, low-key, or maybe just absolutely dreading what the next step of treatment is going to be and how much progesterone I'm going to have to take and everything like that but I'm I'm trying so so hard to just enjoy the moment and live for now um but it, it's there in the back of my mind thinking oh gosh this is going to end soon well not soon but it's, it's going to come to an end this is not my life now like there's going to be times when I've got to take progesterone again and there's going to be a lot more hurdles along the way and not knowing what they're going to be or how often I'm going to have to take progesterone and how much is having that uncertainty it's really hard to plan or to do anything like I can plan up to the end of June when I have my next appointment and then I don't know what's happening after that and that's yeah that that brings with it quite a bit of anxiety and and concern because I can't plan anything for July because I don't know you know are they going to give me loads of progesterone in which case I'm not going to be able to do really plan or do anything or am I just going to have like a little bit and be okay by the end of Ju Ju July so yeah it's it's hard um and then I was like, I had such a bad headache um, and I came home from Lauren's and I, I literally just fell asleep on the sofa at like seven o'clock. It's now 10 o'clock and I've just got up to film this and I'm going to bed. So bye everyone.